Hello and welcome to this talk. My name is Johannes and I will be talking about our work Differentiable Annealed Important Sampling Minimizes the Jensen-Shannon Divergence Between Initial and Target Distribution. This is joint work with Robert Bamler from University of Tübingen. In this paper we focus on the initial and target distribution of differentiable annealed important sampling or DICE. DICE is a method that combines aspects of Markov chain Monte Carlo and variational inference. More specifically, in a first step, it draws n particles from an initial distribution Q0, which is shown in the middle of the figure. Afterwards, an underdamped Langevin diffusion process moves particles over k steps to the target distribution, which is shown in the red color. The whole process is differentiable and one can adapt parameters of the initial distribution as well as of the transition process. In our paper, we show theoretically that in a limit of many transitions and with one particle, Differentiable annealed important sampling minimizes the Jensen-Shannon divergence between its initial distribution and target distribution. The Jensen-Shannon divergence is the sum of forward and reverse KL divergence. While the reverse KL divergence used in VI is known to be mode-seeking, the forward KL divergence used in Markovian score climbing MSC is typically associated with a mass covering behavior. Now the Jensen-Shannon divergence averages between both divergences. Starting from this finding, we ask the question, how useful is the initial distribution Q0 of DICE as a parametric approximation of the target distribution? The corresponding inference scheme that we call DICE0 is identical to DICE at training, and at inference, only the initial distribution Q0 is used, omitting any MCMC steps. We empirically evaluate the inference method DICE0 on various experiments indicated with light blue in the figure on the right. In the plot, we find VI for zero transitions and one particle, importance weighted VI for n greater 1, as well as a limiting behavior by Domke and Sheldon for large n. Our contribution is plotted for one particle and a large k. In the first experiment, we investigate di zero with respect to the number of particles and the number of transitions regarding its mode covering behavior. In the experiment, we consider a bimodal target distribution that is an equally weighted mixture of two d-dimensional Gaussians. We learn variational distributions for VI, importance weighted VI, di zero, and Markovian score climbing or MSC. For MSC, we experiment with a single chain as well as with eight parallel change, chains. On the right hand side, we plot a target distribution in black alongside the learned variational distributions on the line connecting the modes of the target distribution in three dimensions. While VI in red finds a mode seeking distribution, the variational distributions of di zero becomes more mode covering with an increasing k, approaching the numerically calculated distribution minimizing the Jensen-Shannon divergence. In the plot on the top of the page, we plot a density of samples drawn from the target distribution under the variational distribution. Higher values correspond to better coverage. We find that di zero has higher densities in higher dimensions for an increasing k across all n while MSC with one chain is generally less mode covering for a larger dimension, MSC with eight chains achieves sometimes higher densities. However, it does so inconsistently. In these two experiments, we compare the learned standard deviations of the parameters of logistic regression on the left and GP regression on the right to the ground truth standard deviations. On the left, we show ground truth HMC in black, importance weighted VI in red, Increasing shades of blue show di zero with an increasing number of transitions, and yellow shows Markovian score climbing. We find that di zero provides most accurate standard deviations across methods with smallest error to the dashed black ground truth. For a large n, the differences between importance weighted vi and di zero are vis visually indistinct. MSC performs better for some values but does so inconsistently. On the right hand side, we see Gaussian process regression, where also di zero in blue provides the most accurate uncertainty estimates compared to the gray ground truth. MSC outperforms importance weighted VI, however, it is worse compared to di zero. Please check out the paper for the quantitative results. To quickly summarize, the paper shows that DICE minimizes the Jensen Shannon divergence between its initial distribution and target distribution. And motivated by this finding, we investigate the initial distribution as a variational distribution by dropping the MCMC steps during inference. We find that the initial distribution provides accurate uncertainty estimates, which we attribute to the Jensen-Shannon divergence, which is implicitly minimized. Now, thank you very much for your attention. Please check out the paper for more information.